Hello, folks, and welcome to this week's episode of Capital City Sports. I'm your host, Matt Mbaka, and it was a big week for both the men's and women's basketball teams as they faced tough opponents at Colonial Life Arena. On Wednesday night, January 31st, the Gamecock men's team faced off against the Mississippi State Bulldogs in a tough battle at Colonial Life Arena. Eli Brand is with the coverage. Carolina men's basketball team returned home tonight after letting two big opportunities against ranked opponents slip away in two of their last three games. They hope to pick up a big win tonight against the Mississippi State Bulldogs to try and keep their NCAA tournament chances alive. Frank Booker was the best part of the night for Carolina, making five threes and scoring 25 points. The Gamecocks were depending on Wesley Myers to rebound from a game last Saturday in which he didn't score a field goal. And although he did make three shots, he had five turnovers and struggled overall. One of the things that went well for Carolina was free throw shooting, making over 80% of their shots. Another problem though was defense. Coach Martin said after the game that they are consistently outplayed at the point guard spot. But the biggest problem was turnovers that turned into easy baskets. All in all, the Bulldogs beat the Gamecocks 81-76. to The same old problems played the Gamecocks tonight. Turnovers and a low field goal percentage kept them from getting over the hump against Mississippi State. That loss drops into 13-9 and 4-5 in the SEC, which really put a damper on their NCAA tournament chances. The next game for the Gamecocks will be this Saturday in College Station, Texas, to take on the Texas A&M Aggies. For Capital City Sports, I'm Eli Brown. And on the following night at Colonial Life Arena, the number seven ranked women's basketball team and defending national champions faced the number one ranked UConn Huskies, and those Huskies were angry that they didn't get that ring last year. Gino Oriema had them ready, and Emma Milner was at the game with the coverage. The energy in Colonial Life Arena was electric as the defending national champions took on number one ranked UConn in an exciting matchup. There was so much hype and hope for South Carolina fans around this game, but the end result played out exactly as predicted. UConn put the game away in the second quarter, scoring 29 points and keeping the Gamecocks down, 53-24. to Coming back from the half and down 29, South Carolina played a little more like the national champions they are, but overall it was a weak performance against the 20-0 team. The Huskies used a 2-3 zone to double-team All-American Asia Wilson, keeping her from making the big plays South Carolina desperately needed. Combine that with poor shooting from the perimeter and 16 turnovers, by the fourth quarter, the energy Colonial life once felt was gone, and so were any chances the Gamecocks had of making a comeback. The final score was 83-58 to UConn. You know, obviously we didn't get the performance that we, want. we wanted, you know, but... You know, in these type of games, you got to take away, you know, what went well. We knew coming into tonight's matchup that this was going to be a tough game for South Carolina, but this didn't even look like the same team we've watched all season. The ongoing controversy South Carolina is having with Missouri may have been a factor in tonight's poor performance, as well as losing guard Lindsey Spann to an injury. South Carolina will hit the road to take on the last team to beat UConn, Mississippi State, on Monday, February 5th. For Capital City Sports, I'm Emma Milner. Even though both the men's and women's teams took L's this week, they'll be looking to bounce back as they hit the road. The men will be facing Texas A&M and the women against Mississippi State, and the following weekend, they'll be at home hosting the Florida Gators. The men will be playing on Saturday, as the women will be playing on Sunday. For Capital City Sports, I'm Matt Mbaka.